Hey guys, this is an update to the ESP32 Smart Home 4 light bulb system. What I've done uh, is I've created a controller with also with an ESP32 device and both of uh, these devices will pair up using uh, classic Bluetooth. Uh, and that way you don't need to use um, an Android phone or if you don't happen to have a phone, you can just uh, build one of these and I'll show you how it works. But first and foremost, I want to show you the fritzing diagrams. So this is the diagram for the four light bulb system. And this is the diagram for the remote. It's got all the buttons and everything that you need to activate each respective light bulb. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. So what we'll do is we'll turn on the breadboard power supply module. There's a lithium battery inside already. And in a few moments, that's going to pair up. So these two will be paired with each other. You can see all the relays. We've got a connecting block that connects the relay uh, modules to the uh, light bulbs. It's just easier to connect everything up. And all we have to do is just press one of the respective uh, push switches or push button and each one turns on a respective light bulb. You can also see down here, we have these mini uh, three millimeter LEDs. I don't know if you can see, but if I turn this on, each respective uh, LED will automatically turn on one of these light bulbs, okay? And when I turn them off, they turn off accordingly. One thing that's really special about this, and it's taken me considerable time to work out, um, this uh, uses a flip-flop mechanism. Uh, what, what it means is, if I push this button, normally if I push this button down, it's supposed to um, turn on the light bulb when I hold the switch down, but when I let go, it's supposed to turn off. So I have programmed it in a sense that when you press the button, it will, it will turn on and you have to press it again to turn off. And that does two things. Number one, you don't have to hold the push button all the way down and you don't need to have two buttons, one for on and one for off for each light bulb. You can save uh, on the buttons. So that um, is really good. If you want the code for that, for the uh, remote control, and for the uh, light bulb device, uh, just go into the description on YouTube and just download everything. Uh, any problems, any questions you have about this uh, entire contraption, please uh, feel free to ask. Okay, so let's just do it one more time. One, two, three, four. I've got four buttons. I uh, took out the fifth button because it was causing so many problems. I was gonna have a fifth button to have all the light bulbs turn on at the same time, but the code was not working. So I've taken out the fifth button and I'm just sticking with four for now. Uh, in future, if I'm able to add a fifth button, I will do it. But for now, I'm just going to stick with uh, four. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Take care and goodbye.